Well, folks, we're, uh, you know, this was supposed to be the last sermon, and I'm still <laughs> debating that, so I'm going to need this week to kind of work through that in my own heart and mind. But I think you got the essence of it. <laughs> you can get more grace or have less grace, not because God doesn't want to give it, but because we're blocking it through worldliness. So I'm talking to me, I'm talking to us collectively, individually, as families. Let's get some more grace to flow because grace is willing to flow, wanting to flow, needing to flow because that's God's favor coming our way. And with that in mind, uh, let's encourage each other, whether it's in our small group, whether it's in our family, to grow in grace, in our understanding, usefulness of it, benefit from it, because grace can blow your mind. So, uh, you know, uh, pray for me this week <laughs> so that I know what, what to do. I'm not going to do anything next week, but the following week I'll decide whether uh, uh, we come back with some more grace. Uh, I think I'm kind of leaning that way. So you pray for me because I'm getting excited about what I'm learning and preparing it for you so we can all grow together in the magnificent grace of God and see more answered prayers come our way. Hey, I love you. We love you as a family, as a leadership team, as a church. And we want to do everything we can to infuse God's truth operating in your life. And if we can do it better, let us know because you can help us to be more effective in ministering to you. God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving. And we'll, we'll be back again soon with more grace.